What is happening, everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. I hope you are having an awesome day today. Don't go anywhere because what I have here in my hands is the biggest, most exciting unboxing in the channel's history. Not just because of what is in the box, but because of who sent this in and why they sent this in. This was sent in to the channel for me to take a look at, use it, carry it, test it, and it is a truly humbling experience. I couldn't be any more excited to dig into this thing. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll use the TRM Atom with the DLC coated 20 CV drop point blade, the beautiful titanium handles and titanium pocket clip. This is one of my most prized possessions. Absolutely love the TRM Atom. So let's go ahead and get into this thing. I want to keep it like this because it has some important information on the other side. So we'll go in from the side here. And we should be in at that point. So we'll close this guy up, put him to the side. See, he wants to see what's in here too. So let's see what we got here. Look at that. So what we have guys is a TRM shadow. We have some stickers. We have a patch, a dog tag, stickers and we have the knife so i was contacted by trm a few days ago by hillary shout out to hillary thank you uh for getting in contact with me uh i am just absolutely humbled by the whole thing but she said that you know they had been watching some of my videos and they noticed that I had some TRMs and that I, I had a shadow in on loan, but I wasn't, you know, I haven't been able to get one and that I would love to have one someday. And she said if I was willing to accept that she would send, send me one in to take a look at and carry and use it. And I, I gladly accepted if I can figure out how to get in here. This is new packaging. I used to be sugar cane. Or at least I don't remember these coming in this kind of packaging. I guess I could be wrong. But I don't remember that. So I am actually very nervous. <laughs> I don't know why either. <clears throat> I think I'm excited more than anything. So I have wanted to get one of these knives for a long, long time. Uh, and, and they are not easy to get. They're a little easier to get nowadays. Uh, but, you know, a year or two ago, these were very hard to get. Very hard for TRM to get in people's hands. But they are starting to get into a rhythm and get these knives into people's hands a lot quicker. So we have the beautiful shadow from TRM. USA made 20 CV. It is on the crossbar lock and TRM calls this the river lock, which is an awesome name. Titanium clip, I think titanium hardware all the way around filler tab so this will be left hand friendly and I think it's going to go beautifully with its other brothers here let's slide this stuff out of the way and we'll slide these out of the way just for a few minutes let's take a look at this thing absolutely beautiful look at that G10 finish and these guys are up in Massachusetts so not far from me at all let's give this thing a flick open oh, 
Oh, yes. Look how tall that flat ground 20 CV blade is. That is absolutely incredible. So there is the Atom. There is the Neutron. Man, they all go good together, don't they? DRM is, I would have to say, EMP EDC is my you know favorite company, but TRM is my favorite American knife company. Uh, there's no question. TRM and then Hoag, uh, but TRM just you know they do such a phenomenal job on the knives that they make, uh, and I can't wait to see what they have up their sleeve next. Uh, they do just a such a phenomenal job some of the best if not the best customer service in the game uh and you very rarely I, I don't know if that if i ever have heard of any issue from anyone uh about the quality of you know a trm knife nothing that i have heard in the last couple of years uh and i have had no issue with either of the two that i have had I've carried and used these guys quite a bit, and I look forward to doing the same thing with the shadow here. I love that blade shape. It's very reminiscent of like a mix between a sheep's foot and a drop point. A little different on the studs, isn't it? See, that's a little that's another little characteristic that I didn't take notice to uh, when I had cue balls TRM shadow in. It's one thing I didn't take note of. I love how this full size finger choil is here. Oh yes. So comfortable. Uh, they design such an ergonomic handle nice and neutral but so so comfortable even in a standard grip I can get a full grip on this thing and then with that full-size finger choil the ergos on this thing are just prime time and then combine that with a tall thin slicey 20 CV blade that makes for an awesome combo. And then you throw in that river lock, gives you a little bit of fidgetability, no question. And I believe this is still on phosphor bronze washers. So you're going to have some extra, just not necessarily toughness, but debris and gunk and that sort of thing are not as, uh, primed issues like bearings are washers are a lot better when it comes to being in a dirty environment a dusty environment you know when the knife is getting some use and it's also getting used in you know maybe not the best of environments whether it's you know carpentry work or some, some sort of work line of work like that uh definitely prone to having dust and debris floating around. I am a huge fan of washers. Uh, and once they break in, guys, for guys who aren't, you know, real experienced with them, uh, they break in extremely well and become very smooth. And in some cases, better than bearing action once they are broken in. Look at that. That is sharp. That is slicey, baby. Oh.
such such good work from TRM. Uh, I've handled several TRMs. I own a couple TRMs, and they are up there, if not the best edges uh, in the game. And then combine that with the geometry of the blade, just thin blade stock all the way down to that edge. Ah, such good stuff. Some of the best stuff that you can get. Let's check this thing. Because I'm interested. I've never... Never checked. So about... 20 thousandths behind the edge. And then a 93 on the blade stock. That is just insanely thin. Guys, definitely expect a full overview on this guy. A full review. We'll, we'll do some testing with this guy as well. We're not going to put it quite through the gauntlet that... I've put some of the previous fixed blades or folders through, but we will definitely take it out and do some cutting with it, cut some different materials. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the TRM Shadow. Let me know what you think of TRM. Uh, I think they are an exceptional USA made company. Uh, exceptional knife company and not only do they make incredibly good knives but they also employ some amazing uh, workers there employees uh, just just amazing what they are doing and I you know it's no secret that TRM is a giving great company uh i've been in the community for quite a long time and trm is routinely just doing acts of kindness all over the place uh and it's awesome to be a part of that uh it's awesome that trm you know just even recognized my small channel and uh you know reached out to me uh, it, it's a it was a huge deal. Uh, I was jumping around jumping around the house and uh, I was excited. Uh, I still am. This is just just insane. So shout out to TRM, shout out to Hillary, everyone at TRM. Uh, thank you. This is just an incredible gesture uh, and I am happy to have this on the channel, unbox it, you know, give it its due, test it, carry it, and uh, definitely report back on that to everyone. But it, it's no secret that these are phenomenal knives that just continue to keep cutting and slicing. Uh, even though I've had this one the longest, and it's lost its fine edge, its fine, fine toothy edge. But man, is it still extremely sharp. Uh, the ability to just keep cutting and cutting, even though it might not have that toothy edge. It's a nod to the geometry of the blade and staying nice and thin and slicey. Uh, just a, I'm a huge, huge fan of TRM. Let me know if you're a fan of TRM down below in the comments. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you here and I look forward to having you here. I will throw up two new videos. Definitely go and check one of them out. Otherwise, guys, I love you and I will catch you on the next one.